morning student in chapter 6 we have done today we will start new chapter chapter 7 number 9 before doing exercise i want to remind you natural numbers whole numbers and integers the numbers from 1 2 3 and so on are natural numbers whole numbers natural numbers plus zero for example 0 1 2 3 and so on the number start from 0 1 2 3 and so on are whole numbers integers the combination of negative number and positive number along with zero are called integers zero minus one minus two minus three so on one two three and so on understood now how to represent number in number line already i have told you how to represent numbers in number line for number line first of all we will draw a horizontal line and at the center we will mark zero and to the right side of zero we will write positive integers and to the left side of zero we will write minus integers right side and left side right side positive integers are there in left side in this in left side negative integers are there and zero is neither positive nor negative so zero is neutral integer and one more thing zero is less than positive integers and greater than negative integers understood Let us do exercise seven a. Question number one. Fill in the blanks using the following number line. It means with the help of given number line, we have to fill in the blanks. We can see here in number line zero, two, four, and six. It means One is here, three is, and five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Similarly, here minus one, minus two, minus three is missing here. Minus four and minus five is missing here. Minus six and here minus seven. Understood? Now let us start. First one. An integer on the given number line is dash. Then every number on its left. An integer given in number line is dash. Then every number on its left. This one is left side and this one is right side. And I have told you. Number in right hand side is always greater than number in left hand side. So we will write here greater. Our answer is greater than every number on its left. Understood? Second, an integer on the given number line is greater than every number to its Left side. Either you write left or left side. Both are correct. Third, two is greater than minus four. Yes, two is greater than minus four. Implies two is to the dash of minus four. We can see here two is right side of minus four. So We will write here right. Two is greater 
greater than minus 4 implies 2 is to the right of minus 4. 2 is right hand side no? That's why we will write here right. Understood? Fifth one is minus 4 is dash than minus 8. Minus 8 is here and minus 4 is here. We can see here minus 4 is greater than minus 8. That's why we will write here greater. Minus 4 is greater than minus 8 and 4 is dash than 8. Seven and eight. Four is here and eight is there. Four is less than eight. So we will write here less. Minus four is greater than minus eight and four is less than eight. And this one. Sixth one. Five is dash than two. Two is here and five is there. Two is less than 5 or 5 is greater than 2. That's why we will write here greater. 5 is greater than 2 and minus 5 is dash than 2. Minus 5 and minus 2. We can see here minus 5 is less than minus 2. So we will write here less. 5 is greater than 2 and minus 5 is Less than minus 2. Understood? Question number 2. In each of the following pairs, state which integer is greater. First one. In this pair, we have to find out greater integer. And we know that minus 50 is greater than minus 23. So, our answer is minus 15. In this number, it is very clear, 15 is greater than minus 12. In third one, 0 and 8. 8 is greater than 0. In bracket, we can write write like this. 15 is greater than minus 12. 8 is greater than 0. Question number 3. In each of the following pairs, state which integer is smaller. And in this question, we have to find out smaller integer. First one, 0 and minus 6. We know that minus 6 is less than 0. So, our answer is minus 6. Inside the bracket, we will write like this. In this pair, minus 3 is less than 2 or minus 3 is smaller than 2. In this 15 and minus 51. And minus 51 is smaller than 15. So we will write like this. Understood? Question number 4. In each of the following pairs, Replace star with less than or greater than to make this statement true. It means this one we have to replace by putting greater than sign or less than sign. So let us compare 0 and 3. We know that 3 is greater than 0. So, we will write the given statement like this. 3 is greater than 0. Here, 
zero and minus eight. We know that zero is greater than negative integer. So we will put here greater sign. Zero is greater than minus eight. In this minus nine and minus three. Minus nine is less than minus three. So we will write the given statement like this by putting less than symbol in between minus nine and minus three. Here minus three star three. Negative integer is less than positive integer. So we will put here less than symbol. Similar this one. Five and minus one. Five is greater than minus one. Understood? Question number five is in each case arrange the given integers in ascending order using a number line. First one is minus eight zero minus five five four and minus one. We have to arrange the given integers in ascending order. Before this, we have to mark this integer in number line. First of all, we will draw number line. Then we will mark this integer. Minus a, it is here. Zero. Minus five. Five. Four. And minus one. Now we will arrange in ascending order. Ascending order means from smallest to the greatest integer. The smallest integer is minus a. Then minus five, minus one, zero, four, and five. It is our answer. Understood? Question number six. In each case, arrange the given integers in descending order using a number line. First of all, we will mark the given integers in number line. Then we will arrange in descending order. So let us start. Minus five, minus three, eight, fifteen, zero, minus two, now we have to array these integers in descending order. Descending order means from greatest to smallest. So we will start from there. 15 then 8 then 0 minus 2 minus 3 and in last minus 5. It is our answer. Question number seven. For each of the statements given below, state whether it is true or false. The first one is the smallest integer is zero. It is false. Why? Because we know that smallest positive integer and smallest negative integer, but we don't know the smallest integer. And Zero is neutral integer. Zero is 
zero is greater than negative integer and less than positive integer. So we cannot define that zero is the smallest integer. That's why it is false. Second, the opposite of minus seventy is seventy. Yes, it is true. Third, the opposite of zero is zero. Yes. It is also true. We know that zero is neither negative nor positive. Zero is neutral. So for neutral, there is no any sign. Every negative integer is smaller than zero. Yes, it is true. Fifth, zero is greater than every positive integer. No, it is false. Zero is less than every positive integer. Six says zero is neither negative nor positive. It is not an integer. No, it is false. Why? We know that zero is neither negative nor positive, but it is neutral integer. That's why it is false. Understood? It is your homework for today. Keep practice at home. Thank you.